Chapter 43 It happened that, when Jeremiah had made an end of speaking to all the people all the words of the Lord their God, with which the Lord their God had sent to them, even all these words, then spoke Azariah the son of Hoshiah, and Johanan the son of Kareah, and all the proud men, saying to Jeremiah, You speak falsely. The Lord our God has not sent you to say you shall not go into Egypt to sojourn there. But Barak the son of Neriah set you on against us to deliver us into the hand of the Chaldeans, that they may put us to death and carry us away captive to Babylon. So Johanan the son of Kareah and all the captains of the forces and all the people didn't obey the voice of the Lord to dwell in the land of Judah. But Johanan the son of Kareah and all the captains of the forces took all the remnant of Judah who were returned from all the nations where they had been driven to sojourn in the land of Judah, the men and the women and the children and the king's daughters and every person whom Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard had left with Gedaliah the son of Ahakam, the son of Shaphan, and Jeremiah the prophet, and Barak the son of Neriah, and they came into the land of Egypt, for they didn't obey the voice of the Lord, and they came to Taphanes. Then came the word of the Lord to Jeremiah in Taphanes, saying, Take great stones in your hand, and hide them in mortar in the brickwork which is at the entry of Pharaoh's house in Taphanes, in the sight of the men of Judah, and tell them, Thus says the Lord of armies, the God of Israel, Behold, I will send and take Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and will set his throne on these stones that I have hidden, and he shall spread his royal pavilion over them. He shall come and shall strike the land of Egypt, such as for death shall be given to death, and such as for captivity to captivity, and such as are for the sword to the sword. I will kindle a fire in the houses of the gods of Egypt, and he shall burn them, and carry them away captive, and he shall array himself with the land of Egypt, as a shepherd puts on his garment, and he shall go forth from there in peace. He shall also break the pillars of Beth Shemesh, that is in the land of Egypt, and the houses of the gods of Egypt shall he burn with fire.